Hi, I'm Anis Shamtuna. And I'm Ikram. Do you know that palm derived cooking oil is high in vitamin E content? Vitamin E is an example of lipid soluble vitamins. It can be divided into two groups, namely tocopherols and tocotrienols, with four isomers alpha, beta, gamma, and delta in each group. Vitamin E is widely known as a potent antioxidant. Indeed, it seems that tocotrienols are more potent than the tocopherols. Besides its role as antioxidant, it also has other health benefiting properties such as anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, and anti-diabetic properties. Research in the past has shown that vitamin E is beneficial in various aspects of health such as in neuroprotection and cardiovascular, skin and bone health. Despite all these wonderful benefits of tocotrienols, its application for future therapeutic use is greatly hindered due to its poor oral bioavailability, especially for tocotrienols. This leaves only limited amount of tocotrienols that could be distributed and delivered to the targeted organs and tissues. The pharmacokinetics limitation of tocotrienols result from a variety of factors, including their solubility, absorption, distribution, and the rate of elimination. When it comes to comparison between tocotrienols and tocopherols, it appears that tocotrienols have poorer bioavailability than tocopherols. This can be seen from study in the past indicating that plasma concentration of palm tocotrienol was detected at a much lower concentration compared to the tocopherols. One explanation for this is that alpha tocopherol transfer protein which is the main vitamin E transport protein in the circulation, is known to have higher affinity towards alpha tocopherol than the other isoforms of vitamin E. In this article, not only the pharmacodynamics of vitamin E are discussed, but the pharmacokinetics aspect of vitamin E are also highlighted. In overcoming the pharmacokinetics limitation of vitamin E, a proposal of applying the formulation approach is put forward and become the central theme of discussion in this article. There are various forms of nanoformulation that have been tried on vitamin E such as liposome, lipids and polymeric nanoparticles. We assure you that you will find this article very interesting. If we apply nanoformulation approach to numerous drugs out there, then why not vitamin E?